Last month, we told you about the Abilene Police Department finally making an arrest on a case that had remained cold for 41 years. The case, it was reopened back in 2020 thanks to new DNA technology. KDAB's Ashley Barr decided to look into how this works and speaking with the cold case detective about what this technological breakthrough means for the community. Every time a case closes, there is a team behind the scenes making it happen. Our forensics folks patrol, the other detectives, um, our records clerks, everybody. Detective Jeff Cowan says advancements in DNA technology is what helps them solve these cases. Uh, I think DNA technology is, is catching up, I mean, or has caught up. Ten years from now, who knows what we're going to be doing. But for some cases, there isn't enough evidence to find a solution, and they can sometimes remain cold for years. I think all cold cases are potentially solvable, um, but obviously you have cold cases you have to go through and see what evidence you do have. Recently, an arrest was made by APD on a 1982 double homicide case that remained cold for 41 years, involving the death of an Abilene mother and her eight-year-old daughter, all because of new findings discovered by Detective Cowan. So opening that case up, you know, we discovered a lot of evidence had been tested originally, um, but we went back and had some stuff looked at. Uh, retested, revisiting these cases, they test some additional items, um, and um, here we are today. And that's not just in this case, it's in other cases as well. Detective Cowan says sometimes they bring in outside resources to help. We will explore any and all avenues available to us. Uh, that could be a lab, that could be some private entities, that could be a consulting firm or agency. They reopened the 1982 case in 2020 and were able to make the arrest three years later. But every case is different. Cold cases are not, sol not solved uh, from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. They're solved, you know, uh, by tenacity, um, just putting in that time and effort. But to Detective Cowan, the best feeling is being able to give families closure. But to be able to meet with a family uh, many years afterwards and speak with them, you know, on, in person saying, hey, you know, we, we never forgot about you. You know, it took some time to get here um, is very rewarding, not only for myself, but, you know, for the department, for our community, uh, for people in general. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Ashley Ibarra, KTAB News. Thank you, Ashley. In December of last year, APD created its own cold case unit. Detective Cowan says it allows them to more effectively work on other cold cases, like the Jennifer Servo case, as well as others.